Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to go through a compilation of things that just made my setup so much cuter. These keycaps were sent to me by Banggood to do a showcase on and it comes with a keycap puller that's pretty decent and 128 keys. So it should be able to fit most if not all standard keyboard layouts. So I'm going to show you how it looks on the Rumi 61, which is a 60% keyboard. While the colors are absolutely beautiful, the stems tend to be pretty inconsistent. There are some that are too tight, so you have to press down pretty hard in order to get everything lined up properly. When I first saw the product photos, I didn't like the look of the rainbow spacebar, but in real life, it's so, so pretty. The material of these keycaps are PBT and the legends and whatnot are die sub, so you should be pretty confident in their durability. If you want to get these, these are going to be on sale on Banggood until March 27th. There will be a direct link down below. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace as I usually do and I was able to find this for 400 pesos which is about $8. This is the non-pro version of the Gullicut Elves in Coral or the NS18. It's charged through USB Type-C and there are just some functionalities it has that the pro controller doesn't have. I also really appreciate the fact that it comes with its own case. If you have larger hands like me, the width of this makes it very comfortable to play on. This controller also has turbo functionality, so it can record your movements and then replay them during a game. It connects to Android, iOS, Windows, and Switch. This is something I got a lot of questions about in my last video. While I really, really love the color of the yellow switch light, pink is still my number one. So of course, over time, I convinced myself to get this modded. So here's my Sakura pink switch light from Mods PH. Everything in total was around $40 and it was free installation so you could send it over to them. I am a little bit concerned about the color fading because that's what happened to my pink Joy-Cons. Hopefully, I'll be able to prevent that from happening. Crossing my fingers. Also, luckily, the partner of the chick thumb grips that I got for my yellow switch were actually pink, so this worked out really well. I randomly stumbled across this listing when it came up on my recommended on Shopee, so I said, hey, why not? Let's get these custom GPU covers made. For the first one, I put my art on there, and the second one, I was just being a weeb. I just kind of wish it was a satin finish instead of a glossy finish so it wouldn't reflect the lights in my PC. This is another Shopee find. Got it for around 300 peso second hand, which is pretty alright since it's about 600 brand new. This is the Geekshare Sakura Switch Lite case. The quality of it is pretty alright for its price, and I personally am using it for my PS Vita. I don't know if I would recommend it for a light because there aren't any divots for the shoulder buttons. Anyway, onto the last thing, I just inserted it in here. I decided to get myself a trolley cart in order to expand the space in my room and keep my consoles on, so hopefully I can do a tour of this soon.